ABC, this is uh, War God 60 here, and uh, I actually have another update. Uh, some vinyl, the last couple weeks. Figured I better show what I've gotten because I got a bunch more stuff coming in, and I didn't want it to get to be a real huge stack. It's a big enough stack the way it is. So, uh, I'm going to show you what I've gotten. Also got a VLC package from Scott Waters. First up, here's what he's playing. A band called God's Tower. And Steel. The album is uh, Steel Says Last. The band is out of uh, Belarus. This album came out in uh, 2011 on Glow Records. This is a Russian pressing. Very good album. Kind of a pagan folk. Maybe a little power metal influences in here, but here is uh, God's Tower. Anyway, Scott Waters. First up, uh, he sent me a package here. Let's see, that's the one. There it is. He sent me a package here. Uh, what was it last week? I got it. Uh, stuff he asked that if I had it uh, and I did not have any of these and uh, so uh, first up is going to be some paper wine on the record uh, one more, I'm not exactly sure when this was released um, God, I want to say early 70s Anyway, it's on the Aquarius. The Aquarius label, Canadian. We've got some Canadian pressing here, so. Uh, anyway, uh, so anyway, he sent me this one here. a little bad spot there but no biggie uh so anyway make wine on the record up next also april wine from scott waters uh april wine live i did not have this it's this also from uh off of the aquarius record label out of canada and uh Love April Wine. Looking for all their materials, of course. Uh, April Wine, play it loud. So, on the Aquarius, of course. So, I was happy to get that. And then, the uh, last one we sent was. Uh, Steel Prophet, Into the Boyd, Hallucinogenic Conception, on Pure Steel Records, Limited 500 is a game hold, of course. Uh, trying to think here, where Steel Prophet just came out with uh, a new album here with R.D. Aliopakis on vocals from Mr. Prophecy. This one I do not believe has RD on it, uh, but anyway, come on, 2014, show you one of the uh, albums here, it's on black vinyl, basically brand new, uh, Steel Prophet. He also sent me a CD, but I have that in my car. It's kind of a Bloom's Overstock compilation. Of course, before I get any further, it is a double LP. So that was nice of Scott. 
Man, uh, I wanted to show these in a previous update, but I for forgot. But these other ones are with what he sent uh, on this VLC key. Uh, it sent these, uh, or I got these on uh, uh, when I ordered these through Rocks Records. But that helix button, and of course, mass button. Then with these last VCLT sent me, I got, of course, uh, a bride pin, and of course, uh, Electric Exodus. Very cool. So anyway, that's what I had gotten from Scott. And then, uh, we'll show these here. Also, last couple weeks. Quite a few here. Oh, okay. Anyway, so a lot of most of these are from uh, Rock and Roll and uh, Shadow Kingdom. Um, first up, just from Shadow Shadow Kingdom, I believe. Uh, I picked up another Arkham Witch. Hammer Storm. It's on Journey's Ends Records. Um, here's the back. I'm trying to think of the gear this came on. Um, Quite positive on this, but uh, anyway, uh, I want to say about 2014. This came out, Arkham and Witch. And then I picked up uh, another Frenzy album. I believe this is their first album here. It's on. Uh, on uh, Underground Power Records. This is uh, Frenzy, Frantic Metal Incorporated. Here's the back. Uh, this is number 82 of 300. Uh, of course, kind of like a uh, comic book cover. Back is about the same. Of course, the inner is Basically that, as they're all in the storyline. Um, trying to think and see where this was released. I'm not seeing a year on here. This is on uh, purple vinyl. I want to say this one came out uh, about 2018, 2017, right in there. But uh, another TV is frenzy. And then I uh, also picked up another High Spirits Escape from High Roller Records from 2017. Slowly but surely acquiring most of these. And then I picked up uh, I believe this is the first Droid album. Uh, just some power thrash out of Canada. Uh, this one uh, came out 2015. Out on the Hard and Heavy Records. Very. This one is disconnected. A very cool cover. Uh, again, some power thrash out of Canada. They're, they just released a new album here uh, earlier this year. Or it was last year. 
Anyway, this is on uh, black vinyl. So, that's Droid here. Very cool band. Three piece, of course. Uh, there's the inner. Good stuff here. I don't see uh, too many people showing any droid out of Canada. Actually, I got this through. Uh, oh, where the heck? Uh, I can't think of the uh, the label. Can't think of the label. And then I picked up out of the same label some gate crasher on the hard and heavy records label this also is black vinyl the custom inners some more uh, traditional metal here Thousand, what they say this was. Uh, of course, then it has the inner sleeve as well. Anyway. Gate Crasher. Then I picked up um, my second one from this band, uh, Battalion Wasteland. Out on High Roller Records. Released in 2018. more traditional metal, kind of made a little more power metal influences in this, maybe a little more melodic at times, but still some great stuff from uh, Medallion. So here is some Medallion, and I believe this is the last one from that label, or Distro, I can't, wish I could remember, God, I just can't remember it. Uh, some overdrive on splattered records. Uh, this one came out in. Let's see, this is a re release, but I believe, yeah, this is uh, released in uh, 2019. But this band was formed in 1977. And. Uh, Band members left in 78 and 79, and uh, that was it until uh, they put together this one here on Shattered Records. Uh, I got number 14. So, uh, uh, they were from 79 to 81, basically. And it's been reissued uh, on Shattered Records, like I said. Also on black vinyl. So some great 70s, early 70s, or late 70s, early 80s metal here. Showed this and I had to pick it up. I love uh, 
this, this vocalist, of course, from the Runaways, picked up uh, Jerry Curry's album, uh, Boulevards of Splendor. Of course, this is a uh, record store day release. Found a copy over at Amazon. And that came out this year, of course. Uh, my record store didn't have this one. I didn't even actually know about this until Scott showed it. I knew there, I knew she was coming out with uh, some material, but I then I then it kind of was off the burner, and that's the last I heard of it until Scott showed this. So here's Cherry Curry. and a band out of Chicago, more of a power doom band, and. Uh, well, Tony Spillman is the main guy in the band. Um, I ordered this album here, which was uh, released this year on No Dust Records. They are out of Chicago. Again, Power Doom Band, Spillage. This is a great album. Great album. Uh, this is Blood of Angels, Epic Power Doom from Chicago. Uh, produced by Bruce Franklin of Trouble. Uh, for fans of Sabotage and Trouble, only 200 of these were pressed. So here's Spillage. And he didn't have to do this, but he did. Um, he sent me the debut, which was very nice. Uh, it's on Plum Rand Records. Uh, I want to say this one came out uh, 2017, 2018, uh, six tracks, self-titled Spillage, again, Power Doom from Chicago. And then uh, he also sent me a, a poster, which is very nice. So uh, you didn't have to do that, but he did. You support bands, they send you stuff like that, and I mean, even a debut album. Um, and these are mostly from anyway. Let's uh, get into. get into these here. Uh, this one actually came from uh, Shadow Kingdom, a band called Mystic. Out of, uh, I believe they're out of Sweden. Uh, they are on the high, I Hate Records label. Pretty, pretty a predominantly female fronted band with the exception of one male in it. Uh, I'm trying to kind of Say who they're like, um, but I don't. It's hard to say. But uh, I want to say these. They have a little, maybe a little crash influence, maybe a little death metal in there, uh, mostly. But the band is called Mystic, and uh, this is their uh, debut album. Uh, I le learned about them over at YouTube, like they usually do a lot of bands. Uh, again, it's on I Hate Records. I believe this is on black vinyl. Yes, it is. I'm not going to show you. I get too far in depth in that. But uh, anyway, band called Mystic, female fronted. Good stuff. Check them out. This comes from uh, Shadow Kingdom as well. Band out of Australia. Uh, new wave traditional metal. Band called Road Warrior. And their album called Power. Three-piece band. They're on the Gates of Hell Records. There's their uh, inner. The vinyl, Road Warrior. Custom inners. So band out of Australia. There are a lot of bands down there that are kind of go relatively unknown. 
Uh, this is one uh, I, I've been finding quite a few lately. And uh, good stuff. Again, this is more traditional metal. Band called Road Warrior. And then, uh, also from Shadow Kingdom, a band called Leather Bitch. So, title album is basically kind of an EP of sorts. Uh, I believe these guys are out of Portland, Oregon. Portland is really a hotbed for a lot of killer bands. Uh, leather, leather Bitch being another one of them. Uh, and, uh, it's Five Piece Band uh, came out in 2017. Put out by High Roller Records. Came out in 2018. So some leather bitch out of Portland, Oregon. Check them out, good stuff. Leather bitch. And then from uh, these are from Shadow Kingdom. And I've been buying a lot of these. A lot, most of these are kind of uh, bootlegs put out by uh, Burn Records out of France. I, this one is not put out by Burn Records, but this is uh, Heavy Load, Live Heavy Load, Swedish Conquest, Live Radio Sessions 1982. Uh, originally released in 82 and then uh, uh, put out in 2017 on uh, Music for Fans, made in Ireland. Heavy load. I got a bunch more heavy load coming in. And then uh, here's the vinyl here. So I'm happy to pick this up. If you're not familiar with rock and roll, they, uh, they cater to a lot of styles and a lot of uh, obscure 70s stuff hard to find stuff. Some of it's original material, some of it is uh, repressings and stuff, so um, I've been actually picking up quite a bit of stuff over there that is uh, kind of a bootleg material that's been repressed. Uh, but anyway, here is Heavy Load. Uh, Rock and Roll, great label. I love that label. Uh, this one is a bootleg, of course, as I mentioned. And I'm talking about this Iron Maiden uh, and the Soundhouse Tape CP and more rare early tracks from December 78 to April 1980 on the Burn record labels out of Paris, France. Uh, Cover is very good, high gloss, and uh, just a lot of the early stuff. Of course, this is with uh, Paul Viano on vocals, Steve Harris, Dave Murray. Tony Parsons, Dennis Stratton, Doug Simpson, or Samson, and Clive Burr. Uh, so you got a variety of early members. Uh, anyway, here is uh, the winners. This, uh, this one is 79 to 80 on this side, and this side is 
1979. So you've got early, early Iron Maiden material here. Live, sound house tapes. Um, with these, you got to be really quick in picking these up over at Rock and Roll because they go just as soon as they're posted, they're gone. So you got to be really quick. You got to check in at least a couple times daily or at least once a day to make sure that uh, some of the, I mean, there's a couple that I have missed that I kicked myself in the ass for not getting there sooner. And, uh, but uh, I usually get notification uh, if they come back and restock. And then you gotta be quick again to uh, pick that up. So anyway, it was Iron Maiden, Sound House Maiden. Then I picked up the last one here was uh, kind of a, a thrash crossover thrash band called uh, Eviction. And who will win? This is on Rat Records. And um, if I'm not mistaken, this originally was. It originally came out in 1988, it was released in 2014. <laughs> get order stuff here. The black vinyl, of course. And it's got the custom rat records. Custom logo in the center here. Uh, again, definitely go over to Rocket Rome. Uh, Rocket Rome and Shadow Kingdoms are probably my two favorite labels out there right now. Distros, anyway, for uh, just some obscure stuff. And of course, uh, this is another one of them. I wouldn't say really. Uh, Obscure, but uh, I mean, you can, you can get this over there. But uh, anyway, some eviction, and uh, yeah, good stuff here. And then uh, I picked this up over at uh, um, Amazon. I was doing a search, this one came up. As a recommendation, of course, uh, and I did not know this was uh, coming out on vinyl, a re-release of uh, Annihilator's Alice in Hell on uh, World Runner Records, but put out by Music on Vinyl. I uh, went over to their website to see if there was any more Annihilator being re released on vinyl. This is the only one today. Uh, if you don't know Annihilator, and if you do know a lot, Annihilator, you know this is uh, the pinnacle album early on in their career. Just a great album. Of course, it has uh, Randy Rampage on vocals. So, of course, Jeff Water, Waters, I should say. Um, of course, it has the Roadrunner label with Music on Vinyl in there, though. But uh, Music on Vinyl, great label. They, they put out a lot of uh, material from uh, bands back in the days and re-release it. And uh, they do an awesome job in re-releasing stuff. Quality vinyl, for music and vinyl. And uh, so definitely uh, search for this. Alice in Hell from Annihilator. And then uh, I, I had the CD, so I, the CD is awesome. Love this band, second release. Band out of India. Uh, this band and Against Evil are probably, there's another band, I just can't think of the name of it right offhand. But uh, those three bands are probably the most well-known bands in India. Uh, Against Evil, very good, great, traditional heavy metal band. And Cryptos also band uh, more speed metal orientated and they put out their uh, burn up the night album fantastic album definitely going to be in my top 15 could be in my top 10 of uh, 2019 
it's that good. This is a, a, a black vinyl, limited to 500. Uh, but uh, just some great stuff. Definitely go pick up this uh, uh, cryptos. You will not be disappointed. Uh, I also have the seven inch singles from the band. I think I have them here. No, I don't. I do not have them. But anyway, brand new cryptos. And then, uh, Japanese band uh, put out brand new albums. It's been quite a while since this band put out stuff. Uh, Japanese uh, metal band Anthem, of course. I'm sure you guys, if you, if you know Loudness, you'll know Anthem. Put out a new album called Nucleus and uh, Black Vinyl. And it's produced by Naoto Shabita. And uh, it's out on Nuclear Blast. So, uh, some great stuff here. Check it out. Um, I could have swore. I think I got it in the other room. Kingdom. Uh, I picked up these seven inch that were, uh, one of them is actually a kind of a grail for me. Hard to find. I've been looking for it. I was over at uh, Shadow Kingdom when I got these other ones and I, I went for a search and I came across this. Um, if you're familiar with the band Smolder, which is a female fronted power uh, Power Doom Band out of Canada, out of Toronto. They put out a seven inch called the Sword Woman. And it's, I mean, it's hard to even come by. I don't even know if you can find it anymore, anywhere. I just happened to get lucky and I got the last one over there. And uh, this is, uh, let's see where it is. Arcane Doom Metal from Smolder. And, uh, Sarah Ann on vocals, uh, if, you, if, if you're familiar with Sarah Ann, she does a lot of reviewing on, on Banger's uh, YouTube site. And, uh, but uh, I got very lucky to get this on 7-inch, uh, because it is very rare now, even to find these. Um, so I was happy to pick that up. So anyway, band Smolder, I'm, I got some new 7-inch sleeves coming from uh, uh, Sound Solution Vinyl, or Vinyl Storage Solutions out of Canada. Uh, it's the only outer sleeves I'll buy. They do have new inner sleeves coming, which I'm going to be trying, which look fantastic. But um, uh, they have these new 7-inch sleeves that are, there's polypropylene and, po and polyethylene. If I'm not mistaken, the polyethylene are a better product or clearer than these polypropylene sleeves. And uh, you can actually, I think I showed some uh, in a video one day, but I'll, when I get to them in, I'll show you again what those are happening. Got the seven inch from Smolder. I'm very happy to get it. Also, on seven inch, I picked up Band Out Italy. Their seven inch uh, that just led up to their debut. Band called Vulture's Vengeance and their seven inch on Gates of Hell Records. This is from 2018. A lot of bands are doing this, kind of putting out seven inch singles or cassettes and then going to the vinyl. 
and this is uh, one of them. Um, this is kind of becoming rare to find as well. And the last one is Pink Volley's band, uh, seven inch, October 31, and Gone to the Devil. Put out by Hell's Headbangers. Uh, trying to figure out what year this actually came on. Do a cover of uh, Too Scared to Run by Uriah Heath. This came on in 2013 in a 7-inch, so uh, if you can find a copy, awesome. So anyway guys, um, that's all I have for this update here. We'll see you next time, and uh, take care, and uh, keep it metal.